So this is the car we're dealing with today, a 2010 model WM Caprice. As you can see, it's a badge Series 2 Caprice V, and the vehicle is fitted with a sunroof. As you can see, this model has the DVD displays fitted to the rear of the headrests of the front seats and the DVD player itself is mounted in the roof at the rear along with the air conditioning controls and there's a couple of lights and some media control buttons. Okay, the first thing we want to do is remove this light assembly. It's held on with clips on either side. Just give it a pull and it comes right out and the wiring harness is connected to a single plug. You can unplug that or leave it dangling. I'm just going to remove it, get it out of the way completely, and we'll continue on. Step two is to pull down on the moulding that goes around the actual DVD unit itself. It again is held on with clips into the roof. They're very firm. It doesn't feel like it's going to come out. It feels like it's going to break. Just yank on it. It will come down. I'll show you the clips. They're, uh, they're big wide clips and they're very strong. So yeah, they'll pop off if you give it a good pull. Don't worry about it too much. Now we've got uh, six screws to undo that hold the DVD unit itself in. They're quite small and they're located on these metal tangs on the side of the unit. Uh, there's only three on each side. Get a standard number two Phillips head into it and you can undo those. These screws are only into the plastic uh, that holds the unit up. So they're not actually all that tight. Be careful not to over tighten them again when you're putting the unit back in. On the front screw here, there is the earth wire. Pay attention to that and don't forget to put it back when you reinstall the unit. Just be careful with these screws, they're really, really tiny and if you drop them, you'll never find them again. Now around to the front of the unit, we've got the PCB that uh, is held on with two screws, again into the plastic. It's just for the eject buttons uh, for the unit and the power on LEDs. Undo those two screws and you can pull that little PCB off. It again hangs just by a wiring harness with a single plug which you can choose to unplug and remove out of the way or you can just leave it dangling and it comes out with the unit. Now that you've got that little PCB off you can actually just go ahead and remove the unit from the roof. Um, I'm pulling at the back here but it's actually more useful to pull from the sides if you grab it from the sides, the back of the unit is attached by plugs and we need to undo those. As you can see there's two of them just here. Uh, they just press in, just pull those out and the unit will come free of the roof and you can now proceed to repair or replace that unit. It's completely uninstalled. Installation is the reverse of the removal procedure. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Good luck. Thanks for watching.